Oh, hi. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dan Warner. And today we're going to be talking about terms that are used on the set of uh, television and film. Now, a set, just so we can start there, is anywhere where um, you're going to be filming your commercial or your TV show or your film. Uh, it could be on a soundstage, we'll get to that term later. It could be on location, but anywhere where someone is filming is called the set. And there are a bunch of terms, which is called uh, a nomenclature, which is a series of terms used for any particular uh, industry. So we're gonna be talking about nomenclature, the series of terms that go with shooting television shows, films, commercials, and the like. And that nomenclature will help you on the set so that you can become uh, more savvy. And it's a series that I call Set Savvy. So we're gonna be doing a series of videos called Set Savvy. Uh, I'm going to be sprinkling them in and around my other tips and tutorials. And it's a, it's a really fun little segment and it will help you become a little more savvy on the set when you're there. Uh, some of these terms you may know, some you may not know. Uh, we're gonna start with the basics and then we're gonna get more technical as, uh, as the series goes on. So the first term that we're gonna be talking about is uh, not necessarily a term that you'll hear on the set, but it's a term that you will hear before you get to the set, before you get hired for your job, and that is callback. Now, a lot of people know what an audition is. It's pretty obvious, an audition, you go and you audition for whatever TV show or commercial or film that you're doing. The callback is what happens after the audition, and it could happen the very next day, could happen that afternoon. It's happened, you know, within three hours. I've gone on auditions, and they've said, can you come back at three o'clock this afternoon for the callback? Uh, so, and then I've also had callbacks that are two weeks later, three weeks later. So the callback can happen that day or within, you know, 30 days, depending on the project. The callback is where you do your audition again, but you do it for other people other than just the casting director. The first audition is usually just for the casting director. The callback, you will have in the room the director, usually. Um, if it's a commercial, you'll have the director. Sometimes you'll have the client, which like, let's say you're doing a commercial for Nike. Ni the Nike people will be there. The ad agency will be there. If it's a television show, the uh, producer and executive producers might be there. Uh, if it's a TV show and it's shot on a studio lot, some of the studio executives might be there, people that make the decisions. And so the callback will be a little more unnerving usually because there's more people in the room. So that's another thing that you'll have to get used to. Um, the, orig the original or the regular audition will be just with the casting director, usually the casting director and uh, a person they call the uh, session runner, and that's the person who's behind the camera filming. So you'll have the, the casting director and the session runner. There's usually two people in the room. Sometimes there's only one, but at a callback, you could have as many as 10 or 12 or 15 other people in the room. So be prepared for that. Uh, it's, um, it's, it's a lot different than the audition. And so um, just be ready for more people. And you have to get used to that anyway, because when you're on the set, filming your TV show or your film or your commercial, there's gonna be a bunch of people around. And so the callback is sort of that next step after the audition. Usually after the callback, you will get booked for the job or you will be put on what they call on hold or on a veil. Um, those are two other terms uh, that go along with that. So uh, you go to the audition, you get the callback, and sometimes you're put on hold or on a veil, which means be ready, you have not booked it yet, but be ready to possibly book the job. Um, then they will call and book you on the job. That's the next step. Um, another term that goes along with that is an audition called straight to producers. 
Now, straight to producers means you didn't go on the audition. It means you are going in, the casting director has called you in to go straight to the producer session, which means the director and the producers will be there. And so th those are really great auditions to have straight to producers. That means the casting director probably knows you uh, or has seen your work and they're calling you because they, they have a, a, a lot of confidence in your ability. And so they're going to bring you straight to the producers and go, hey, here's our guy. Uh, we saw you in, you know, we saw you in CSI and we want you for CSI Miami, which is not even on the air anymore. But you get the idea. So uh, straight to producers is a really great audition. Uh, because usually you just go in, you do your audition, and then they're going to call you and book you or not. Um, but at least it's a one and out. Um, sometimes the auditions are one and out, like you won't even have a callback. Uh, a lot of times anymore, they book you right off the tape. And so you will go in for your audition or you will submit your audition on tape from your home, which is what's going on right now. And then they will book you based on what they saw on your tape based on your IMDB uh, page, you know, how many shows you've done, what your resume looks like. So that is a callback straight to producers, and I threw a couple of others in there as well. Okay, so the next term we're gonna be talking about is green room, and this is something that uh, you will find on the set, uh, and it's a place called the green room. They're not necessarily green, but the green room is where uh, and here's another term, is um, they will refer to you as the talent. I had a really hard time wrapping my head around that when I first started, uh, people calling you the talent. It seemed a little, um, I don't know, arrogant, the talent. I would never refer to myself as that. I refer to myself as uh, an actor. Um, but they call you, on the set, they call you the talent. It's just the term that they use. The talent has a place that they stay before it's time to film your shot, and it's called the green room. A lot of people want to know, why do they call it the green room? Uh, it's sort of been lost over the years. Uh, historians have lost the, the term, but the, the, one, the one story that keeps coming back is back in the 1590s, there was a theater in London, and that's where all the, the actors waited before it was time to go on stage to do the play and it was painted green. I, I wish I had a better story for you than that, but that's, that's where it came from apparently, is a theater, a theater in London painted green. And so that's why they call it the green room. And so every room, no matter what color, if the talent, the actors are waiting to do their scene, uh, they're in the green room. So. If you're on the set and they say, hey, go wait in the green room, it's right over there. You don't go, what, green, what, huh? Green room, it's just where you wait. It's a holding area. There's usually couches and tables and chairs and sometimes a TV. But you can go over your lines, you can study, you can do whatever you want in the green room. Okay. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like button down below. If you have not subscribed yet to my channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the Set Savvy series videos that I'll be doing for the nomenclature of uh, film and television sets. Uh, I hope you found it useful and helpful. If you have questions or comments, please leave them down below. Like I said, I'll be covering all of these terms and more in uh, the future weeks and months to come. My name is Dan Warner. Thanks for visiting my channel, and I will see you next time. That's it? I'll see you next time? Is that the best I can do? Yeah. So thanks for visiting my channel, and uh, I'll see you next time on another edition of Set Savvy, where we'll talk about uh, the mark, on your mark, or go to your mark. Do you know what that is? Well, you're going to find out next time. Next time on Set Savvy.